I want to take you on a journey through God's word in a sermon that I have entitled Church Planting 201. Not Church Planting 101. You see, we've been there. Because in the context of our time today, we're going to take a look at what theologians call, church people call, the second missionary journey of Paul. It is the second time that he is going to go out and start planting churches. And in the context of our time together this morning, I want to show you what God wants you to see, which is his blueprint, his principled, pillared blueprint for planting churches. Now, I tell you that not because I expect that you're going to go and be a church planter. I tell you that because if you're a Christian, you're going to go out and make disciples. And let me just set clear up front. Church planting is nothing more than making disciples who make disciples who make disciples. This is the plan of God. So what is good for the church planter is good for the discipler. What is good for the discipler is by definition good for every Christian. So please do not relegate these truths to the category of those missionaries. This is God speaking to you and me, brother and sister. If you are a Christian, these truths are for you. And my prayer is that we together will be refined by God and his word, that his spirit will do a work in us that will not only change us to our benefit and blessing, but he'll do a work in us that will change us so that we will be a benefit and a blessing to those outside the walls of this gathering place, no matter where this gathering place is. God's called us to be his church, and there are no walls and no structures in his definition of church. Church, as you and I read it in the Bible, in the original language, the word is ekklesia. Ekklesia is the called out, set apart people of God. It has nothing to do with a building. It has everything to do with being the blessing 